I hope you're comfortable here. We'll be here all day today. Don't worry, I'll run away. Yeah, if you say so. Wait for me here. I'm gonna get a coffee. My eyes are falling asleep. Maybe even grab you two if you're good and I don't forget. Ha 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 ha, that's funny. Take your time. I'm not running away. Well, I lied. I definitely lied. I can finally escape after a month of sleepless nights and endless tunneling. I'm almost done. I've had enough of this disgusting food and endless labor. It's not for nothing that I took a carpenter's job and stole some wood to make this shovel. And so here's my key to freedom. I hope he does and forget the coffees for me. It's such an adrenaline rush right now. So here we go, yay. Ow, ow, my knee. Here I am, waiting for me to show up. What a wonderful song of sirens and screams. I hope they don't realize where this tunnel leads anytime soon. At least I've already escaped from here. I finally woke up. I had this wonderful dream about becoming incredibly rich and befriending someone and then having a bunch of adventures. Now I'm so hungry I need food. Hey, Dad. I hope you made me something for breakfast. I'm hungry and I'm willing to eat an elephant. Yeah, 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 you're up. I made some this morning and left it on the table so you can take it to school with you or eat it now. It's delicious pancakes dipped in syrup, so I think you better eat them now or they'll turn to mush by the time you get to school. So you better eat it now. I'll eat it now. Thank you very much. Get home from work soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd better eat it now and I don't have to go anywhere. Why did he tell me I had school today? So what do we have here? Syrupy pancakes, just what the doctor ordered. I slept so badly. I hardly ate anything last night and slept on the floor. It's so uncomfortable. I hope today will be a good day. After daddy went to prison, life got really hard. I miss him. We used to have so much fun together until he got in trouble and had to do criminal stuff. And now I'm alone and he's in jail. It's so hard. I gotta eat something. I'm so starving. And my back hurts after sleeping on a mattress that's on the floor. What? I have no food left. What am I supposed to do? I have no money and no job to earn food. I'll have to become a bandit and steal food to survive. Hey, 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 son, guess who? What? It's your dad. He's been released on good behavior. Is that true? No, I lied. I just escaped from jail when the guard got busy. How cool is it that you're home again? Wait, what? You escaped from prison. I ran away because the food was awful and the conditions were bad. And most importantly, I never saw you visit me, son. Do we have anything to eat? Why is the fridge empty? I don't have any food left. I don't have any money to buy it. In all this time, you couldn't get a job and earn something? You're useless. No, that's not true. All this time, you've just just been sitting at home doing nothing? That's totally true. I was trying to think of something. All this time, you haven't hit me once. You couldn't even clean the house. What have you been doing while I've been away? I was sleeping on a mattress the whole time. You don't even have to answer me. I know what you want. I learned how to treat them in prison, and it sounds like you need a lesson in behavior and attitude. Now you'll be sleeping by the toilet. That's what they do to people who've been guilty of thievery in prison. It's where I slept. Now you're sleeping by the toilet, and you will until you're old enough. But this is my place. It stinks and it's filthy. What are you doing, Dad? Are you out of your mind? Why did you put the toilet right where I slept? That was my spot. Like I said, I guess you don't get it, but I'll say it again. You think I had fun in prison? While you were here relaxing and doing nothing, I was suffering in prison. Now Daddy needs to rest. It's been a tough escape, and you can go wherever you want to go from here. I'm gonna get out of here so I don't have to see you. I thought things would be better when you got back, but they've gotten worse. Don't piss me off. Oh, sure. I won't piss you off. I'll just leave here somewhere better because anywhere is better than being here. You're brave. Get out of here before I beat you up like they did in prison. Maybe then you'll grow up a little. And I'll leave. I'll find a new family and live with them. And you can continue to live in this abandoned and horrible house. Come here. I'll slap your neck for your insolence. Yeah, well, good luck hearing the police ringing the doorbell. I can't believe prison changed him. I need to find a place where I can live or at least stay overnight, or better yet, find a family that can take me in. Because I can't just live on the streets, it's horrible. And I think it's starting to rain. I can already feel the droplets hitting me. Oh my God, it's really starting. I'm so tired and upset. I wanna cry. I need to find shelter before I get soaked to the skin. It's unbearable. Somebody help me. Come on, there's no shelter in case someone gets caught in the rain or something. Wow, finally a shelter and there's a fire. I won't be cold, thanks to whoever 
whoever made that shelter. Without it, I'd be soaked to the skin and freezing outside. I just have to wait out this rain, and then I can find someone to take me in because I don't want to go home. It would be awful after what happened. So well. Three hours later. Who? Finally, this rain is over. One problem is gone, but another has come. I'm really hungry right now. What am I supposed to do? I guess there's nothing left to do but dig through these stinking garbage cans. I wonder if anyone threw out a grilled chicken today or some medium rare steaks? No, there's no more or less edible food here at all. Ew, you stinking bum. Im, who are you? Just an ordinary passerby who doesn't need to go through a stinking dumpster. Actually, I'm a poor orphan. I have no other way to find some food. Yeah, that's not cool at all, being an orphan without any family. You have no one to help you. You're surviving at such a young age. Yes, I'm glad you understand me. It's not easy living here. I hope you'll give me some money to buy some food. Just wait with your money. So you're actually living in this little house made out of newspapers. Yes, at least this house keeps out the rain, but the roof leaks a little. I have an idea. You can stay at my house. I have no heat leaks, food, cartoons, and a soft bed. And my roof doesn't leak. You want to adopt me into your home? Yeah, I don't think my dad will mind my decision. Okay, I'm in. At least it's better than living in a dump. Follow me. I'll show you my super cool house. By the way, boy, what's your name? My name's Mikey. What's yours? My name is JJ. Nice to meet you. There's my house. House. I don't think you've ever seen such rich and cool houses in your life. Let's go inside. Dad's not home yet. He's at work. We'll introduce you to him later. Mikey, you have a really cool house. You even have your own pool. When I wanted to swim, I did it in puddles. That sounds too wild. Puddles are dirty. And this pool is so clean. Don't you pee in it when you swim there? No, we pee in the toilet, which is inside the house. Wow, you have a toilet inside your house? We had one outside. Yeah, because we're rich and can afford a toilet inside the house. You can get used to it, JJ. By the way, I thought you wanted to eat. I have a super duper delicious cupcake for you. Oh yeah, that's what I need. You can eat the whole cupcake. By the way, tell me how you became an orphan. Yam yam. Very simple. My dad's really bad. I didn't want to live with him and I went to live on the street. Wow, you're a really cool dude. I couldn't do something like that. Because there's no reason for you to do it. Oh, who's that? Mikey. Hi. Oh, who's that in the house? This is my new friend JJ. He's an orphan and I took him into our home. Hello! I felt very sorry for him. He was living in a dumpster. I couldn't just leave him there. That's right. Your son is a very kind dude. Wow, I didn't realize we had a new resident in the house. I'm so sorry, JJ, that you have such a hard life. I'm gonna have a great life now. No need to worry. We need to find your parents now. I need to find out what happened to them. Hey, stop. Don't do that. My dad broke out of prison and stole a toilet. There's no way I'm going back to his house. Uh, that sounds kind of weird. Weird. It's just awful. Your father is an escaped convict. Yeah, that's a dangerous dude. He's a danger to society. We have to put him back in prison. Oh, we're doing this right now. I feel like I was wrong to say that. No, JJ, you did good to confess. Come with us. We have to take him down right now. Uh, okay. I don't have much respect for my father at all. He constantly insulted me and behaved badly. All criminals are very bad and evil. That's why they should be in jail. Um, all right. I hope your dad is still at his house. Yeah. He's watching TV and probably drinking beer. That's what criminals often do. That's where he is. But I'm warning you, he is very strong and dangerous. Oh, that's already scary. I'm a cop. My job is to catch criminals like him, and I'm not afraid of him at all. Back off, kids. There's a criminal in custody right now. Just please don't kill my dad. It's still my daddy. I'll try not to shoot him with my gun. Ha ha ha. What did you say? You're gonna shoot my dad? Oh my god. Don't go inside. Yeah, my dad's about to be really surprised. I'm worried about my dad, too. Hands in the air. Police, nobody move. Oh my god, now my dad's gonna be really mad. What? I'm gonna beat you up. Ah! Looks like my dad already cuffed your dad. Let's hurry up and get inside. I want to see it. Let's go. I think your house is already safe. What's going on? JJ, you're the one who turned me into the cops. Shut up, criminal, or I'll shoot you. Stay quiet. Oh my god, my dad's really getting angry. Don't shoot my daddy. Get up now and get in the car. I'm taking you personally back to prison. The cops are making a mess again. Ah! Stop yelling. No one can help you. Nobody loves you. Not even your son. What? My son? I hate him too. I don't even want him. Your father's already 
crazy. Dad, listen to the policeman. That's how you'll survive. Please, don't make any more mistakes. This is the first time I've seen such dangerous criminals apprehended. Get in the car, now. I don't want to go to jail. JJ, you're a traitor. You're no longer my son. What? Shut up already. JJ, you're doing great. Your father will never escape from prison again. He'll stay there forever. Forever? I think that's too cruel. Exactly. If you see a criminal, call the police. I have to go to work. Uh, all right. It's a good thing your daddy won't give you any more trouble. I was doing fine without it, and now I have to live in this stinking house? Yes. But I want to live in your house. Someday you'll earn money for a house as rich as mine. Eh, uh, I'll have to pee outside again. Ten hours later. Mikey decided to take me somewhere, but I don't know why. Let's ask him. Mikey, what's going on? Don't panic. I just want to give you a little surprise for you. A uh, surprise at the bank? All previous surprises in my life have always been terrible. You're too pessimistic about everything, JJ. It's definitely not going to be bad for you this time. Um, this is all kind of weird. All right, let's go. Why do we have to go to the bank. You probably want to give me a couple cents as a joke. Don't even guess. You'll never guess what awaits you in this building. Come with me. I have a plan. A uh, what? Why can't we go in the front door? Where are we even going? If I tell you about it now, you won't like the surprise. Um, this whole thing just seems too weird to me. I've prepared the tunnel. We need to go through it. You'll see from here. Uh, why do we have to do all this? I hope you're not robbing a bank. Uh, no. This isn't a robbery. It's just another entrance to the bank. Follow me, JJ. Uh, I don't like this. Why do we have to go down a dirty tunnel? Explain it to me already. You got it right. This is a bank robbery. There's a whole bunch of dollars in there. Just imagine how rich you and I are gonna be. Mikey, you're crazy. No, this is a deeply thought out and ingenious plan. You and I are going to be the richest people in the world. Bank employees are so stupid. They didn't notice that hole in the wall. Yeah, I'm shocked at you, Mikey. So we're gonna rob this bank on the sly? But how do you open the next door? Boy, next door won't be much of a problem for us. I've heard that phrase somewhere, but you need a pin code to get through. There's no other way in. You're wrong. There's one cool way to open that door. What's that way? A very cool and effective way, I'll tell you. It's dynamite. Oh my god, you're gonna blow up this whole bank with us? No, you're gonna do it. Why me? This is your plan. Stop arguing. You need to plant a bomb right on that door. Stop stalling, JJ, or the guards will be here soon. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. What if it explodes too fast? I have a five-second timer set there. We can get a safe distance. Okay, I'd get as far away from this house as possible. Um, I thought the explosion would be bigger. Wow, there's so much money. Way to go, JJ. That's enough money to last us a lifetime. How are we supposed to take all this stuff with us? These are huge stacks of money and gold bars. Oh my god, JJ, you're always so stupid. Just break the money blocks and put it in your pocket. Seriously? It doesn't work like that in real life. And we're not in real life. We're in Minecraft life. Okay. I'll try. Five minutes later. Here we are with all the money in this vault. I told you we should have just broken the money blocks. You're right, but there was so much money here that my pockets are already completely full. We need to get out of here. Otherwise, the sound of noise could attract the police. Well, yes, because we exploded a powerful bomb here. Although those stupid guards didn't even hear it. These are the most useless guards in the world. And you were afraid that we would be caught and put in prison. This money is literally pouring out of my hand. Well, it's not every day that I rob a bank with you. I hope we don't have to do this anymore. Oh my god! Where did all the money in the bank go? There were huge piles of dollars right there. And now there are two to three bills lying around here. The robbers were unable to take everything with them. Detective work is hard, you know. I need more evidence to find out who could have done this. Good afternoon, detective. The robbers acted quietly and smoothly, but we found out how they got here. And how did they do it? Follow me. They were real diggers. It was not easy to dig such a tunnel. Here they went into the bank vault. Um, how did the bank security not notice this hole earlier? It is amazing. I think I should walk through this tunnel. Maybe I'll find some clues. Oh my god, what a deep tunnel this is. Surely I'm dealing with some kind of professional robbers. If I catch them, I will definitely receive a bonus to my salary. So the robbers made an entrance right outside the bank fence? Oh my god, the security guards don't do anything here at all. No fingerprints or footprints. I don't know how to find them. Oh, what is this? I think I found my first clue. A bunch of small bills are lying on the ground. It looks like the robbers didn't notice this when they took the money to their hideout. So these thieves are not smart at all. I think I can follow this money trail after them. Three hours later. They've already dropped thousands and thousands of dollars. With each bill, I become more and more convinced that 
this is their first robbery. All this money belongs to the bank. I'll put these guys in jail. Oh, and this is where this trail of bills ends. This is the home of those thieves. I thought it was some kind of abandoned old building. And this is some kind of house for small children. House in the shape of a rabbit. How ridiculous this is. We have so much money. With this money, we can buy ourselves a million burgers, a powerful computer, a game console, and much more. Oh yeah, your surprise was the coolest, Mikey. Okay, let's go to bed already. Fine. Oh, who else has come? I wasn't expecting any guests today. I'm somehow getting scared. After all, we just robbed a bank. Maybe it's just the delivery guy who got the wrong address. Maybe we shouldn't open the door. I really don't like this, Mikey. Stop being afraid of everything in the world. JJ, you are such a coward. I'm not a coward. What if there are a lot of police there and we have a lot of cash on hand? Better hide it in my pockets. We'll quickly see who's calling and close the door. All right, let's go. You're under arrest. Hands in the air. What's going on? You stole all the money in the bank. This is a felony. You're going to jail. But we didn't do anything. All we did was play on the computer at home all day. There's nothing to put us in jail for. You're lying. There's a trail of bank money leading to your house. What kind of money? You're lying and making things up. I'm sick of all this. Stop lying. I need to do a search. You don't have to do that. We don't have anything at home. And that's what we're about to test. Get out of here. I'm going to find this pile of money. You two stupid thieves. All right, then. Let her look for something we don't have. Shut up, both of you. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. We didn't do anything. This is some kind of mistake. Someone set us up. We don't care. Come with us to the police station. We'll sort it out there. Hey, don't touch me. You're hurting me. These handcuffs are too small for me. Because you're fat. Your hands are too big. Eat less burgers. You have no right to insult us. Ha 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 ha. We're entitled to whatever we want. If we find the stolen money, we'll take half of it for ourselves. Good idea, man. I'm a cop just for that. What are you guys talking about? We're in trouble. There's no money here at all. Not a single coin. These guys are totally poor. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Stop whining. Let's go to the police station. We have to question them. I hope they'll talk. What a strict boss we have. She pisses me off so much at times. Hey, actually, I can hear you. Idiots. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. It doesn't matter. Get me to the station now. This is a very serious crime. We have to find that money. Where a whole mountain of money could have disappeared. Now tell me, where is the money from the bank? And what did you do last night? If you don't answer, you'll go to jail. Um, actually, I don't know what happened to your money. It's not my money. This is the bank's money. Well, okay, so be it. You're avoiding the question. Where's the money? Where were you yesterday? Yesterday, I sat at home and played Minecraft. I then fought against a crowd of zombies with a golden sword. What kind of nonsense is this? What should I start with? Yesterday in Minecraft, I started raising pigs because I didn't have any food. And then Mikey killed all the pigs. What does this have to do with pigs? Actually, they were zombie pigs. They cannot be bred. It was against them that I broke my golden sword. It was a shame. Oh my god, tell us about the tunnel. We had one tunnel in Minecraft yesterday. And guess what? Those same unfinished pigs turned out to be there. Stop talking about the computer game. Yesterday, we played Minecraft all day. Let's get back to the pigs. I think these pigs came from a portal to hell. You're both kidding me. I'm talking to you absolutely seriously. Mikey killed all the pigs. I'm so tired of you and your pigs in Minecraft. What did we say wrong? We told you the truth, detective. You will sit behind bars and then decide where you spent so much money. What kind of money? We are poor guys. Poor? You stole a whole vault of money. These bills couldn't just disappear. I will definitely find where you hid them. Hey, don't go. Let us out of here. Oh my God. Looks like we'll never get out of here. And why did I even listen to you? We need some kind of plan to get out of here. How will you do it? The door is closed. There's no way we'll open it. No one will help us at all. You're too excited. It's night now, which means it's time for us to sleep. I don't want to sleep here. It's uncomfortable to sleep behind bars. As you wish, I'll sleep. Are you so indifferent to everything around you? Oh my god, maybe I should sleep too. Um, what happened here? Why are they lying on the floor? Did they really die this night while they were here? Oh my god! Apparently they were too worried when they were sent to prison. It was not clear from them that they were some kind of dangerous robbers. Um, then I need to get rid of the bodies. What happened here? These two guys are dead. I don't even know why. You shouted at them so much yesterday. Apparently they died out of fear of you. Does this happen? Yes. Sometimes it happens if the heart is weak. We need to bury them in the cemetery. They definitely don't belong here. Oh my god, I shouldn't have yelled at them so much. How I feel sorry for them. Arrange for their funeral now. Why should I do this? Oh my god, I hate this job. I got a job as a policeman, not as a graveyard undertaker. I woke 
woke up. Where am I? We were in prison. Are we underground? Mikey is here too. Where did they put us? I don't think this is a new prison. Mikey, get up. We have problems again, and all because of you. Get your turtle butt up. Um, where are we? We're underground, Mikey. What should we do? It was more comfortable in prison than here. Apparently, the police thought we were dead and buried us. But we were still warm. How could they do this? Apparently, they are very stupid, but we have a lot of money. Oh, that's right. They forgot to look in our pockets. Ha ha ha. We are still rich. But what should we do with these riches if we are underground? I don't know. All these pieces of paper are useless. Several long days later. Mikey and I are sitting in class waiting for it to be over. Do you understand anything, Mikey? What's written on the board? Of course, it's the easiest thing in the world to do. But it all looks a bit scary and incomprehensible. But I think it's a really easy subject, though. You just sit back and absorb it. You'll get there. We'll talk about a different topic tomorrow. Here comes the bell. Thank you all for your attention. You can go home now. Finally, it's all over. It's time to go home. You guys have a good day. You can go. Come on, Mikey. Our parents should be here soon. Let's run quickly then, so we won't be kept waiting long. It's the right thing to do, and away from any kind of class. The main thing is to get the parents here so we don't have to just stay. That's right. Do you think the guys know what's about to happen? Be sure to watch the video to the end and do your homework. I believe in them. They're smart, and they'll do exactly what it says on the board. It's the right thing to do. They know it's very important to us. Let's go see where our parents are. Let's go, of course. They should have gotten here by now. I'm so excited to be home already, JJ. I've been thinking about it for the last hour, but our parents haven't arrived yet for some reason. Strange. Why are they late to us? I don't know myself, Mikey. Maybe they're lingering somewhere. Let's hit the road, then. We'll watch and wait for them. They were never late to us. Maybe they had something going on over there. What do we do now, JJ? There's nothing left for us to do. Just wait for them, that's all. Darling, please increase the speed. We're late for our kids. I've already done it. We're at the limit. It's dangerous to go any faster. Okay. I told you you should have packed faster. Now you're going to have to break the speed limit to make it. I already realized it was my fault. Now let's just say less and drive faster. It's a good thing our car lets us drive like this. We got a good one. I never doubted your choice of vehicle. I'd argue that, of course. We'll be there soon enough. Ah, uh, help me! Stop! Pull back! Did you hear that scream? Yeah, I heard. What was that all about? I don't know. We'll have to go look. Let's go outside. That sound was from somewhere out here in the woods. A man's voice asking for help. We have to go and see what happened in there, love. Let's go take a quick look and move on to get our kids. Good. That's the right way to handle the situation. Do you see that? A man lying motionless on the ground? What's wrong with him? I don't know what happened here, but it looks like he doesn't need any more help. How is that possible? Was he murdered? Who did it? Wait, don't panic. We'll call the police and they'll take care of it. This is the first time I've seen a murdered man. Me too. It's scary. The car is standing in the road for nothing. Something's definitely happened here. Who's standing over there? Did they kill him? Stop right there. What did you killers do to him? Put your hands in the air. Don't move, I'll shoot. What? Policemen, we weren't doing anything. We were driving down the road and we heard a scream. I know you murderers. Of course you won't confess. You have the right to remain silent until your trial. Listen, sir. I don't want to hear anything. You vile people killed an innocent man. I'll put you in jail for a long time. You can say whatever you want, but I still won't believe you. You're the only ones here. We're going to the police station. Let's get in my car now. What the hell is going on here? We stopped to help. Why would we kill someone we don't even know? Let's just drive in silence. They'll know we didn't do anything. That's great. Better yet, you should confess what you've done. That will help you avoid a life sentence in prison. We didn't do anything, cop! Hear me! Go! Why did you do it? What did that man do to you? What are your motives? Stop asking us all this stuff. We didn't do anything. I've explained everything to you. All right? You want to deny it? Deny it. But in a court of law, you'd better come clean. It's easier that way. Moments later. We've been down this road for hours. Where are our parents? I don't know. We need to keep moving to find them. Maybe they just forgot to pick us up from school. Oh my god, JJ. There's our parents' car up ahead. Okay, we have the car, but where are the parents? Maybe they're just peeing in the woods. Maybe. Let's go to them quickly. We might scare them, but I don't think leaving a car on the road like that is a very smart idea. Cars don't go around here anyway, so it's not gonna bother anyone. Mikey, there's nobody in the car. Where did our parents go? I don't know. 
Maybe something really bad happened to them. Then we should keep looking for our parents. Maybe wild bears, wolves, or skibbity toilets pounced on them. Mikey, look! There's an ambulance at the edge of the woods. Oh my god! They must have come for our parents. They might be in trouble. Then let's go check it out. Maybe they're in that ambulance right now. I hope they weren't eaten by bears. Or at least a little bit. A little bit? Bears don't bite people a little bit at a time? We need to find some doctor. Oh, there's the doctor. All right, let's get out of here. I don't want to be here much longer. We should ask about our parents. All right, kids, what are you doing here? We're looking for our parents. Their car was left on the road not far from here. There's no one here anymore. So where are our parents now? Get out of here now. It's very dangerous. Are there really bears walking around here? No, there's been a crime committed here. Go away. A crime? Did our parents do this or did they suffer a crime? I can't tell you anything, I repeat. Get out of these woods. You have no business here. You stupid idiot. Our parents are missing. Don't you have anything to say? What are we supposed to do now? He said something about the crime. What does that mean? I don't know. They could be anywhere. I don't know where to go from here. Maybe we should go to the police. They're in charge of all crime. Hmm, that's a good idea. Maybe they know what happened to our parents. And where is the police station? I'm thinking that way. We'll get to them in a couple minutes. A couple minutes? Mikey, we'll get to them in five minutes. Okay, let's go. Three hours later. Yeah, turns out it took us a long time to get here. It's not a big deal. There's definitely a police officer here who knows where our parents went. And if he doesn't, he can help us find them. Of course. The cops have always helped us with all sorts of problems. They are such wonderful people. Always love them for their good work. Ah, oh, what creepy people in those portraits. You can tell these are real criminals. Where's that officer sitting? I remembered. He's always playing on the computer in that office. Wow, I hope he was playing Minecraft. Oh, it doesn't matter, JJ. Hello. Hello, officer. Our parents are missing. Help us find them. Do you play Minecraft? Shut up, all of you. One at a time. What happened? We have lost our parents. Their car was parked in the woods on the road on the way to school. Oh my god. This is really bad. Don't worry, kids. We'll find them for sure. Q, at least someone's gonna help us. We haven't seen them all day. Quiet. I want information on what they look like and their names. My mom's name is Speaker Woman. And my dad's a TV man. Oh, that's interesting. Ha ha ha. Um, I don't see what's so funny. Because we've already found your parents. Really? Yes, of course. Of course. Speaker woman and TV man. I've already met them. Uh, do you know where they are now? Yes, of course. They are in the next room right now. Wow, that's where they're hiding from us. Come on, I'll show them to you. They can't come to us by themselves yet. Ha 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 ha. Phew, I was starting to worry that something bad had happened to them. Don't worry, they're perfectly safe. Nothing dangerous will happen to them. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't like his weird laugh. It's okay, we found our parents. You should be happy, JJ. Here come your parents. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey kids, are you okay? We're going to jail. We didn't do anything. Why are they in a cage? Our parents are criminals? What happened? They went to jail for nothing. The cop thinks we're criminals. And we didn't do anything at all. This is a big misunderstanding. Everybody shut up. It's your fault. You're criminals. I found them in the woods near the crime scene. But our parents couldn't do that. I've personally seen them do it myself. It's their fault. Children, don't believe him. We didn't do anything. He's a stupid cop. Someone was screaming in the woods and we wanted to help. So our parents are innocent. Let them out. I'm not letting them go anywhere. They'll be here for years. It's their fault. What are you talking about? We didn't kill anyone. I didn't do anything either. So this cop put our parents in jail and we've been looking for them all day. All right, now you, get out of here. Meeting time is over. What? Are you stupid? Let our parents go now. Stop talking. Everybody out. You're both starting to piss me off. Hey, don't kick us out. We're still gonna get our parents out of there. <laughs> Never. JJ, Mikey, help us, please. No! Oh my god. Mikey, what are we gonna do? Our parents aren't criminals. I know that for a fact. I don't know. I thought the officer was a nice one. Now I realize he's a freak. We need to come up with some kind of plan to get dad and mom out. Maybe blow up a police station. I don't know. We shouldn't leave them there. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Hmm. Shovel. JJ, what if we dig a tunnel and get them out? Dig a hole for the cage? Mikey, that's genius. All we have to do is find a shovel somewhere. Why bother looking when you can craft the simplest one? That's right, Mikey. Let's go. Now it's time for our biggest heist ever. We're gonna rob a police station. How crazy do you have to be to rob cops? Maximum crazy, JJ. Hee hee hee. The officer's gonna be shocked at the work we've done. Quiet, JJ. We're on a robbery. We could be spotted. It's nighttime and everyone's asleep. Well, I think our parents are in this room. We gotta dig here. Okay, let's go. We're gonna steal the most valuable thing in this house. Our parents. All you know how to do is talk. Keep digging. Yeah, try it yourself. It's not that easy. Five minutes later. 
We have a couple more blocks to go, and we'll be right under our parents' cage. Oh, we're already under them. It's time to break these boards. Mikey, it's working. No one's noticed us yet. I hate the police. Now I want to become a criminal to spite them. That's definitely our dad. Only he gets so ridiculously angry. Hey, Mom, Dad, what's up? I'm so hungry for a beer. Oh, kids, what are you doing here? How did you get in here? JJ and I dug a tunnel under you to get you out of here. Seriously? That's pretty risky. I hope you get through that little tunnel. Of course we'll get through. You're so good to get us out of here. Yeah, it was my idea, and JJ was just there for me. Hey, I also helped you dig. Whatever. Good job, Mikey. You're the best son in the world. Oh, stop talking already. An officer might see us. Let's go. Whew, our parents are finally free. Now we'll all have to live on the run from the police for the rest of our lives. At least it's better than going to jail. I agree. All cops are stupid. Putting innocent people in jail is really dumb. Now let's get out of here before the officer finds us. JJ, we robbed the police. We're the ones who should be locked up like the most dangerous criminals. I agree with you. Soon we will be robbing the richest and biggest bank. Seven months later. Look where I've gotten myself into. You, JJ, will never get in here. You're too much of a coward. Stop showing off. Get down and let's go play something else. Okay, okay. So what are we gonna play? There's tons of stuff we can play before the parents get here. Let's try everything. Nice. Uh, no, we won't make it. Children, come here. Let's go home. It's time for us to go home. Let's go, JJ. That's what I thought. We didn't finish the game. Hi, Mom. Hey guys, so how was the playground? How did you play? Did you enjoy it? A nice playground has finally been built. We would have had time to play everything if it weren't for Mikey. What happened? JJ just chickens out. I thought something was wrong. Come on, let's go home. We have to go. Let's stay here some more. Mikey and I haven't had enough. No, JJ, we're very tired. Let's go home and eat. Ha 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 They think they're doing well in life. I have a plan to disrupt their lives. Their dad will be less tired in prison. Enjoy your dinner, kids. Did you like it all? It was great, Mom. Yeah. I'm very happy. Okay, guys, it's time to go to bed. Tomorrow's a big day. We need to get some sleep. Oh, what? Look at the time, JJ. You should be asleep by now. Wow, let's go to bed then. Let's go. That's great. Then let's not be long and go to your room. We'll take you to bed. Come on, Mikey. Let's not waste time. Let's go, JJ. I'll be the first one in our room. You just want to play around. You can go first. I'll be in bed too. Let's calm down and go to bed. Come on, kids, get down. Your daddy and I want to go to bed, too. All right, we're on our way. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. I'm here. I'm on the bed. Good night, Mikey. Sleep tight. Good night, Mikey. Good night to you, too. Good night, JJ. See you tomorrow morning. Good night, JJ. And good night to you, Mom and Dad. Get some rest. We'll wake you up tomorrow. Let's go to bed already. Bye. Just get some sleep. Don't talk. Don't play. You need to be strong for tomorrow. Of course we'll be resting. We get it. Go to bed already. Okay, we're leaving. Goodbye. See you soon. Good night, Mikey. I'm already sleepy. I'm falling asleep too. I'm so tired today. I agree with you completely. It's getting pretty dark already. I need to get home soon before someone attacks me. It's so nice at night though. It's warm. Come here, civilian. I need to talk to you. What? What is it? Oh my God, who are you? What do you want? You can't know who I am. Come here and give me all your money. Otherwise, it'll end badly. No! Please don't touch me, please! The next day. Bye. See you tonight. Beautiful morning. Beautiful weather. It's so nice when everything is beautiful. Time to go to work in a good mood. Gotta make more money today. That's what people say. If you sleep well, the day starts with a good mood. And how could it be without a delicious breakfast? Wait, stop. I need to talk. It won't take long, don't worry. I have a gift for you. What gift? Who are you? What do you want? Don't worry about it. It's just a gift. Consider yourself lucky today. Today's your day. Here you go. All this money is yours. You can have it. Use it however you want. Just be careful with it, even though it's a joke. Never mind. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Why are you giving me money for nothing? What did I do? You gave me so much money for no reason. Why don't I just take them and not think about why I got them for free? That amount of money can't be passed up. I don't even want to think about that, man. I'd rather take it and buy presents for my family. It's rare to get this much money for free, so we should take advantage of this opportunity. What are we gonna do today? Maybe go for a walk? We can go back to that site where you were yesterday and walk around there longer. That's a great idea, Mom. All right, then let's go get ready. Let's go. What? Why is Daddy back so early? Guys, I have a surprise. Let's go get ready and go buy you anything you want. We'll go and get you some new toys and your mom some new clothes. What? What happened? I was given a little gift. Now I have a lot of money so I can buy anything. Wow, cool. Let's go get ready. No way. Thank you. Kids, go to your room and get ready. Let's go, Mikey. Wow, that's great. And think about what should I buy. Go think in your room, but hurry up. 
I can't wait to go to the store. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go, JJ. We have to get everything done. I have so many ideas of what we should buy. Since Daddy can afford to let us have a party today, let's not be petty. What's on your mind, JJ? What should we get at the store? I'm going to ask my dad for a new TV and more new toys. Great, JJ, and I'll ask my dad for some new and interesting books. Did you think it through? Of course I thought well. I've already read all of them. I can't get enough of new books. Show of hands. Did you hear that, Mikey? What's going on out there? Yeah, I heard. Looks like the police broke into our house. Oh my god. What's going on in there? We gotta run and see what's going on. Get down on the floor now. Hear that? Of course I did. Let's hurry up. It looks like one of our parents got caught. You are detained on suspicion of assault and theft of property against a civilian. Did you rob someone? What's going on here? What are you in there with him for? Somebody tell me what's going on. Mom, do you know what happened? I don't understand anything. It's a mistake. Let him go, please. He didn't do anything. Yeah, of course he didn't do anything. He's going down for a long time for stealing from a man. It's kind of crazy. We're here. This is where he lives. He's already been apprehended. That's great. Let's go tell me if it's him. Who the hell is that guy? Did this man steal from you? Yes, it's definitely him. He's the one who came up to me at night and stole from me. Policeman, explain to me what's going on. Yes, of course. Your father robbed this civilian last night and took all the money. Wait, what? But sir, he was home last night. There's a witness here who saw his face last night. Yes, I remember his face exactly. It was him. Let's check what's in his pockets. You have no right to search me. Don't touch me. You're so busted. Here's your money. Oh my god! He brought them today. He said it was a gift. Of course it's a gift, liar. Calm down. Hold your money. You can be free. Thank you, officer. Holy cow, all the money's here. Well, thank you. I'm going to go home. Guys, don't worry so much. My dad's not a thief. You've made a mistake. He couldn't. I realize this is a shock to you all, but we have to get him. Wait, where? Our father's going to jail? Get this criminal carefully into the car. This speaker man will get what he deserves. We'll get it done, sir. You will be punished for your evil deeds. No tricks. Dad, tell them it's not true. JJ, I don't have a choice. They won't believe me anyway. Uh, but you know, I sure as hell didn't steal the money. Mikey, did you hear that? All right, we're out of here. Daddy, don't go. We're coming with no, you. No, 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 no. You guys can't come with us. He's a dangerous criminal. Move it. Family, forgive me. Farewell. Huh? What? He's got a lot of crimes on his record, so forget about him. Mom, do something about this situation. Where are you taking him? We're taking him to the police station for processing. Oh my god! Thanks for the warm welcome. Goodbye. You all took our father, and now you're making jokes. Mom! Hey! And Mikey! What are we gonna do? Oh, JJ, I think the cop is right. Wait, what? He was identified by a resident, and they found money in his pocket. I don't know what to do. Yes, Mom, the evidence adds up. Maybe you're right. <laughs> I can't believe our dad would do such a thing. Go to your room, both JJ, of you. JJ, this can't be happening. Uh, our dad's the kindest dad in the world. I don't believe it. Mikey, you need to calm down. I don't want to calm down. You don't understand anything, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Viewers, am I missing something? Write in the comments, is our dad good or bad? Now I gotta go get Mikey and try to calm him down. Mikey, where are you? <laughs> Mikey? <laughs> Why did this happen? Dad, I miss you already. <laughs> oh my god. Three hours later. How could he do such a thing? He's a good man. Oh my god. He's my dear husband. Who's gonna raise the kids? Who's gonna go to work? I can't live like this. Yeah, it's all too sad. I don't know what we're gonna do without dad. You're right, JJ. I don't even wanna play. I know what you mean. We don't wanna have any fun with this kind of grief. It's not our father's fault. He's a good man. He would never cheat or rob anyone. He must have been set up. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. I think so too. Our father is a role model for all of us. I won't say he's a saint, but at least he's a good one. He couldn't have done this. We're gonna find out who set him up. Then we'll tell the police who did these crimes. But how do we prove it? The crimes took place on the street. We can look at the security footage and see who did them. Mikey, you're a genius. Just how do you have access to the cameras on the street? It's simple, JJ. I just hacked into the surveillance system. Mikey, I didn't realize you knew so much about computers. Whoa, JJ, I found the very same security footage. This is unbelievable. What did it get on? You're going to really like this. Let's take a look at them. Well, let's take a look. Hey, you! Give me all your money right now. If you don't, you'll regret it. Money on the barrel. Now! What? My money? I'm not giving you any Anything. Then get it! Ow! You stupid citizen! You stupid idiot! Hey, man, what's up? Uh, it's okay. You want money? Get it! I'm generous today! Is that for me? Really? Take as much as you want! Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah, sure! Take it! Don't be shy! Treat yourself right! Ha 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 ha! It's all a bit suspicious, but why not? I'll take the money. Maybe I should spend that money on my family. Buy them all kinds of goodies and fun stuff. Oh my god, Mikey! The Skibidi toilet did it all! Yeah, JJ! He framed our dad! He did it on purpose! Now we show all these tapes to the police and they'll release Dad? Yeah, that's what we wanted. They'll realize he's innocent, and they'll find the toilet Skibidi and put him in jail in his daddy's place. 
Our daddy will come back. Yeah, we'll show the cop that camera disc and he'll realize how wrong they were. By the way, we should tell mom about this. Yeah, JJ, you're right. Mom's going to the police with us. I don't think the cops are going to talk to little kids like us. I hate that we're being disadvantaged because of our small age. Oh, mommy's still sad about daddy. We should cheer her up. Mom, we have good news for you. What happened? Our dad's innocent. He was framed. He didn't commit a crime. Uh, what? How did you know about that? We looked at the footage from the cameras on the street. The skibbity toilet did it all. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah. Yes, we have a CD of the recordings. Records? That's so cool. So my husband's not guilty of any crime. We can show them to the police. Of course we can. Hurry up and go to the police station. We have to get our daddy out as soon as possible. You are so good for both of you. You hear that, Mikey? We're good. You guys are just the best. I thought my husband was really a criminal, but you were able to talk some sense into me again. Yeah, I'm the best. I hacked the cameras. I made the tapes. Yeah, Mikey. Let's go to the police and show them everything. Children, let's go quickly. We can't wait a minute while our dad's in jail. You see, I did a better investigation than the those stupid cops. You're the best, Mikey. By the way, it's very strange. Why didn't they look at the security footage themselves? I don't know. They're really bad at their job. Now we're going to show them they're incompetent. Yeah, they're pretty stupid. Just don't say it to their face, okay? Okay, or they'll put us in jail too. Is that possible? Going to jail for insults? JJ, they can put you in jail for anything. Okay, kids. We need to find an officer and talk to him. He usually sits in the room on the right. No, JJ. It's in this room on the left. I'm sure of it. I'm sorry. May I come in? I have an urgent matter. Yeah, come on in. I'm listening. Hey, kids. Hi, I missed you guys. So what brings you here? Another crime? Talk to me. Your crime? You put dad in jail without evidence. Here it is. Yeah, our dad was framed. You didn't look at the security footage. Cameras? We forgot all about them. Give me the disc. I'm going to investigate. Oh, and now you wanted to see them. Okay, here you go. Get them in here already. I can't wait to see it. Awesome. Goodbye to the life of a thief. Hello, free world. Yes, the inmates are starting to speak the language of the prison. Hopefully this will pass soon. So, let's see what you've brought here. Oh my god, Skibidi Toilet? He was robbing passersby? Daddy is innocent. That's horrible. We put an innocent man in jail. I apologize for our incompetence. Yeah, you guys really screwed up. We will release your father from detention right now. They're going to set him free. I'm so excited. I won't have to eat bread and water anymore. Should I open the door? Open it up already. Okay, okay, don't yell at me. Yee-hoo! Daddy's out of jail, finally. My dear family, thank you for getting me out of here. I'm very grateful to you. Daddy's not a criminal. We're so happy. We are all very happy. What are you going to do with the real criminal? We're gonna take him to jail. I gave the order for his arrest. Wow, now that's real justice. Catch him quickly. You're all doing a a great job. I thought you'd forgotten me long ago. How could we forget you? We all love you together. You're our father. We love and appreciate you. Oh, that's so cute. I love you too. And who came up with the idea of looking at camera footage? Oh, I did that. Mikey, you're a genius. Thank you. Let's just go home and watch cartoons. I don't want to stay at the police station much longer. Okay, let's just go home. I don't like being here either. You know, I'll never take money from strangers on the street again. There's no way it'll be another setup from another bad guy. Yeah, looks like Daddy learned his lesson. He won't do it again. Oh, look, that's Gabidi Toilet. He's already been arrested. Yeah, guys, I didn't do any of this. I was set up. God, he's so mean. He says he's being set up. He can talk, but he can't do anything against the evidence from the cameras. Yeah, he's definitely going to jail. He's so good at lying. I think we'll see him again soon. I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, and his plan is bad. He just put on a speaker's mask when he's a toilet and he's human. How could anyone believe him? Trust me, I'm not a criminal. Yeah, he'll do anything to make sure his lies are believed. Come on, let's go home. We've got a lot to do while daddy's away. Yeah, there's a new season of my favorite cartoon that I never finished watching. Whoa, cartoons? I miss them so much. They didn't have a good TV in prison. Our dad is definitely not a criminal. That's right. When someone's watching cartoons, someone's mugging people on the street. We'll never be as mean as that skibidi toilet. No, we won't. Maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I think it'll make life more fun. Six months later. Mikey and I are taking a walk in the mystery forest today. JJ, what are you talking about? Uh, it looks like an ordinary forest to me. You're just missing the mystery of it all, Mikey. Huh, did you come up with something again? No, it's true. Oh yeah, right. <clears throat> Let's take a walk through your mysterious forest and see. Come on, come on. I'm sure you'll just be blown away when you see all the mystery. Huh, what makes you so sure of that? Because I've been in this forest before. Well... And I've seen something mysterious. Hmm, mystery, mystery. Hmm. What do you even mean? Mysterious things can happen here. Oh, hmm. Look. What? I found something mysterious. Stop saying that word. But I'm serious. Hmm. There's a diamond block, Mikey. Stop. What? Diamond block? Yeah, it's got a delicious cake on top of it. JJ, hmm. don't you think this whole thing is a little suspicious? What could be suspicious about a diamond block? Oh my god, JJ. Mikey, don't you know? Well... I'm just crazy about cakes. JJ, you can't be serious right now, can you? Oh no, Mikey, I'm dead serious. What are you gonna do? I'll eat it, Mikey. Uh, I think this is a bad idea, JJ. But Mikey... It could be dangerous. I'm unstoppable. Oh no. Oh, this cake is delicious. JJ, stop. That's just beautiful. Holy turtles, JJ. Divine, marvelous. You're gonna get a stomachache. Huh, this kind of deliciousness won't make me sore. JJ! I'll eat him whole. You better stop.
stop right now. I just can't stop. JJ, let's go home already. Ah. Uh, JJ, I just blinked and you were already gone. Where are you? Mikey, I'm here. <gasps> JJ, I told you, it was a trap. Help me. Okay, okay, I'll get help and you try not to go anywhere. Hmm, and I can't go anywhere. There's no other passageways? There's only one way out of here and it's in front of me. All right, Mikey, run for help. Okay, JJ. I'll find a way out here. Hey, hey, hey. What's this? Don't yell so hard, little boy. Oh my God. I'm the smartest skibbity toilet and I'll help you get stronger and smarter. But I don't want to. Nobody's asking your opinion. No, ah. We'll put on a show like this for all your friends and family. No! The best Skibidi show ever. <coughs> oh! Is it night already? Uh, it's like a village near my home. Where's Mikey? Shouldn't he have called for help? Ha! Looks like I got myself out of that trap. I'm so cool. But I'm so mad at Mikey. Why didn't he come to my rescue? My home is so close. Didn't Mikey or my parents worry about me? Hmm, but they could have at least tried to find me. It's so unfair. Why are they so bad? I'm very interested to see the look on their faces when I get back now. So, hello to all my favorite family who never forgot about me JJ, for a second. JJ, you're back. Of course I'm back. JJ, I missed you. Hmm. I'm glad you're back. Lie. Let me make dinner. And I'll be working. Oh, how I've missed you, my dear unadulterated family. <laughs> okay, JJ. Hmm. Sit down with Mikey at the table and wait for me to prepare the food. Yeah, yeah, okay. And to smooth the wait, watch some TV together. Hmm. Yay, let's hurry up, JJ. Hurry up, hurry up. Don't make too much noise, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, don't distract me from my work. Okay, okay. You won't hear a thing. Dear Mr. JJ, hmm. I invite you to sit down and have dinner with me at the table. Huh, no problem, my little favorite brother. Let's watch cartoons. Is that what you're so interested in? Of course it is. Really? Look at that Mr. Krabs, he's awesome. Mikey, don't you care about the fact that you left your brother alone in that trap? But I was going to call for help. Where's your help? I was alone in the woods. Hmm. And all you did was make sweet talk to our parents. Come on, JJ, let's watch TV. No, 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 no and no. Oh. You're just a terrible brother. <gasps> what are you talking? about you're a terrible friend what i hate, hate you wow. you're just awful you left me in that trap in the woods forget it it's a misunderstanding you just walked away and forgot about me and now you want me to forget about it jj this really is some kind of misunderstanding we were just about to come looking for you to rescue you are you ready to prove it to me of course i'm available to help you at any time then die now <gasps> what ah. you're too loud mikey everyone's much better off without you hmm great Mom still hasn't noticed anything. Let's get this body out of here. Huh, you're my first victim. And you, my favorite mommy, will go after him. But don't worry. I won't forget about my favorite daddy either. I'll save him for last, huh? And it's time to get out of here before anyone sees. I just have one great place in mind. It's time for you too, Mikey, to recognize all the despair I've experienced. It's a very similar situation. But the only difference is you won't be alone, huh? So one's ready. Kids, it's time for dinner. Cool! JJ, where's Mikey? He's not feeling well. Okay, well, you sit down to eat by yourself for now, and I'll finish dinner for Daddy and go check on Mikey. You don't need to check it out. Mm, okay, JJ, come to the table. Huh, okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit to you too, Mom, and sweet dreams to you. Because you're going to sleep for a long time. Just boot up the computer. Huh, what? Why is everything freezing? Huh, don't worry, I'll help you soon, Daddy. You're next. But now I have to deal with this body too. Yes, Mommy? Oh, and Mom is surprisingly light. Hey, hey, hey! Mikey, I brought you your mom, huh? <gasps> I don't even have to put in any extra effort to deal with her body. Expect an addition to your little locked-in party, huh? <laughs> wow! I can't believe there are such cool channels. They have such great content. Whoa! I love that they have videos every day, so I'm gonna subscribe right now. Their videos lift my spirits. Oh, I forgot to click on the like. I need to do it now. Dad, dinner's ready, but Mom asked you to go down to the basement. Oh, they're so cool. Hmm. Wait, you said she's waiting for me in the basement? Yeah. That's a little weird. Why is she calling me over there? I don't know. Okay, JJ. Hmm. Now I'll watch the last video and let's go. But Daddy, Mommy asked me to call you now because it's very urgent. But I have yet to write a comment under the video. Oh! Maybe she can do it without me? No, Daddy. She said she only wants you and your power. All right, let's go to the basement, JJ. Cool! My favorite daddy, you're trapped. JJ, did you say something? Uh, yeah, you love our mommy, don't you? Yes, of course I love her. Really? What's with all the questions? Nothing wrong with that. I'm just looking forward to your reaction. Uh, okay. You'll be blown away when you see her. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um... Oh my god! Are you okay? Yeah, I finally did it. Well, welcome. Let us go, JJ. We're a family.
family, aren't we? Yeah, JJ. What do you think about that? Oh, sweetheart, what's going on? My darling. Oh, isn't that touching? Who did this to you? JJ did it. Are you serious? Yes. Explain yourself immediately. Oh, what? JJ, what kind of behavior is huh. this? Have you thought about yourself? Oh, my God. You know, Daddy, I always have a plan A and a plan B. Remember that? Daddy, watch out. I don't know what grudge you have against us, but please just have mercy. You're not sorry enough. <gasps> so you're grounded. Now Daddy's in my power, too. Look at these helpless people. This is so hilarious. JJ, for what? Hmm. We're brothers. Why are you doing this? You guys are so funny. What are you talking about? Oh, what did you do that for, JJ? Um, How could you do that, JJ? Forgive us. Huh? I'm in charge now, y'all. Get over it. What are you going to do next? And you all don't have to worry about that in any way. You're not going to do anything bad to us, are you? Well... But if you're interested, I'm going to throw the coolest party ever. What? A party? And you're not invited. Wait, JJ, let's talk. We have nothing else to talk to each other about. I hope you rot in that basement, huh? I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. What are we going to do now? I don't understand how this could happen. Maybe the grate opens. Maybe. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It's useless. Mom and Dad, I have a cool idea. What? Look, we've got ventilation in here. Uh, Mikey, your mom and I can't get in there. Yeah, sorry. I'll climb through it and free you. Um... I'll come out the other side of this cage. All right, I hear you. Yay! Let's go, Mikey. Be careful. Dad, didn't you know... Ah, what? I'm the best vent climber ever. Oh, my God. You won't even notice how quickly I'll be on the other side. It's time for Mikey's hero. Be careful, my boy. Mom, why don't you give me some brownies and a diaper? But Mikey... It's okay, it's safe here. Calm down. See you soon. Oh, who's he growing into? I don't know. He reminds me of someone. Well, who are you talking about? Huh, I'm talking about the woman in front of me. <laughs> Okay, why do you think JJ became like this? He's always been a good boy. I don't even know. I feel like we've been paying too little attention to him. No way. He must be very resentful. Five minutes later. Wow, I think I found a way out. Hiya! Yes, I finally found the right way out. This ventilation shaft is a maze. I got lost three times, but I'm here now. I'm so good. Mom and Dad, I finally found you both. You're doing great, Mikey. Hurry up and free us. Now you're free. We can't take any more time. Let's hurry up and see what JJ's up to. He was talking about the party. Yes, let's have a quick look. I hope our house is still intact. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Mikey, you see yourself as an adult. Huh. Well, I am an adult, Mommy. Wow. Kids grow up so fast. Follow me. Lead us, oh hero Mikey. That will save us all. Hooray for the hero. Hee hee hee. And now... Surprise attack! Attack me, I'm ready! And it's peaceful in here. That's good to know. <gasps> Where is this music coming from? I don't understand. Is it just me, or do I hear music coming from the second floor? Yes, that's right! Oh, holy kebab, what's going on here? Where are all these guys from? I don't see JJ here! He really threw a party, just like he wanted. But not with skibbity toilets. I agree, they don't belong in our house. All of you get out of our house. Everyone leave, or we'll take you out by force. <laughs> Party's over, everybody out. And don't even think about coming back here. Too relaxed, look at them. Now you know what will be waiting for you in our home. I've memorized each and every one of you. Well, they're gone. That's it. Yay! Now let's all think together about what we're gonna do about JJ. Yes. I think it's infected with a skibidi toilet. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's find a cure and prepare a surprise appointment for JJ. Yeah, let's hurry up or he might be back. JJ, now. now we're gonna throw you a party. Hee hee hee. Three hours later. I wonder how my incredible party is going over there. Everyone must be having an incredible time hanging out there. Cool, everything's in full swing. Wait, what? Why is there no music? Have they all gone already? That can't be. I've done all the preparations. JJ, we're gonna fix you. Oh my god. Do it, Mikey. Don't you dare do that. Hey, no! Ah! Yeah. What was that? JJ, your mind has been enslaved by the Skibidi toilet. Yeah, and that's not to say it was fun. But we saved you. Uh... Yes. And I hope you're okay now. And hopefully you won't hit us over the head again. Yes, please don't hit us, because it hurts. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you all. JJ, you didn't do it. You were manipulated. So it's all good. Really? JJ, calm down. It's all right. Hmm. I saved you 100% this time. Uh, okay. So let's have the party of your dreams instead of regrets. Oh my god, are you serious? Mom, come on. All right. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. But where are we going in such a hurry, Mikey? That's because our parents are waiting for us. Oh. They have something cool in store for us. Do you know what it could be? Oh, hmm. No, I don't know, JJ. Hmm. Let's go inside and find out. Uh, okay. I'm sure it's something just incredible. What makes you think that? Because our mom said it's something that's going to blow our minds. Really? Yeah. 
I can't wait any longer to find out what it's going to be. Come on. Yay. I'm excited. Uh, JJ, can you smell that flavor? It smells good. Oh, Mom's food is the best. Kids, you're back from your walk just in time. You've got to love it. We have a little surprise for you today. We're going to the Museum of Skibidi Toilets. Oh, my God. Huh. Are you excited? Of course I'm glad. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Mikey, this is really incredible. Well, I'm not as impressed as you, but I'm still impressed. When are we going to hit the road? Right now. Cool. Follow us. Uh. Let's go. Mikey, you just don't know how long I've waited for this moment. Mommy, Mommy, are we ever going to go watch the parade? Well, I haven't heard of us having such events. I'd like to go to the parade, too. We're going to the museum. It's a dream of mine. Mikey, do we even have parades? I have no idea, JJ. Oh, uh, what? I just want to see an event like this. Oh. But I think I'll like the restroom museum, too. Let's go. I also think that the museum will be interesting. There should be a lot of different exhibits. Let's go. Hours later. When are they gonna fix these roads? Daddy! Oh, kids, are you okay? You didn't feel sick on the way here? I'm fine. That's great. I'm fine, too. Oh, that makes me very happy. We're here, by the way. Oh, my God. They say it ranges from the most innocuous to the most dangerous Skibidi toys. <gasps> JJ, I'm already anxious to see all the exhibits there. Kids, come here. We're here. Okay, let's go. Come on. Oh, we've been waiting for you. Kids, keep up with us or you'll get lost. Oh, hmm. Uh, okay. All right, let's go. Mikey, are you ready? Sure, let's go. Yeah. Wow, where should we go first? Wow, Mikey. There is so much here. Is there any navigation? Here? Yes, we were supposed to be met. But he's not here. Hello, visitor of our beautiful museum. Hello. Hello, Uncle. Are you here by appointment? Yes, we have an appointment at 4.30 p.m., Uncle. That's right. Okay, I hear you. And don't call me Uncle Kid. You got that, Mikey? Yes. Yes, we're all ready to go. Great. Now that you're all ready, let's dive into the wonderful world of the Skibidi Toilet Museum. Cool! Kids, all of these exhibits are not real, not living things, so don't be afraid of anything. Uh, okay. All the Skibidi Toilets shown here are just a fraction of the real thing. <gasps> After various iconic battles, we take only a part and reconstruct it to recreate the approximate look of the Skibidi Toilets. Is this the Hall of Default Skibidi Toilets? That's right, young visitor. Wow! Now you're going to look at the most mediocre Skibidi Toilet of them all. G-Man is the largest among Skibidi Toilets. Oh my god! He is best known for his power and signature lasers. Wow. And this guy is dangerous. I agree. I like it. Let's move on to the next exhibit. Okay, okay. The DJ is the enemy of all speakers. Mine and Daddy's enemy. Because he is not affected by their beeps. Oh. Uh, they say he just liked music. Hee hee hee. <laughs> Maybe this toilet would make a better DJ. The next toilet is just as interesting. But only JJ is looking at him. Mikey. Relax. Cool Skibidi. Oh, huh. Hmm. He's the coolest because he wears glasses and he's not affected by TV men's lasers. Look at his dark glasses. Cool. Not exactly an easy opponent. Yes, especially for me. Next, the most innocuous of all the toilets. Hmm. Skibidi Baby. Uh. He doesn't have any powers. He's just a baby. Oh, he's so defenseless. A common Skibidi or normal Skibidi toilet. What's his power? Just a regular toilet. Well. The Skibidi Angel. Angel is a very nasty foe, as he has a deadly white beam in his arsenal and can teleport like an Enderman. All of these toilets are so interesting. Did you both enjoy it that much? Yeah, I'd play with them. But don't let your guard down because they're dangerous too. Huh, but now they're just dolls. I'm not scared. Now that you've seen it all, let's go to the next room. Okay, let's go. It's right next to the one we're in now. Yay! Yeah! Here is one of the most dangerous of the Skibidi toilets. Oh! The Blender Skibidi is one of the most dangerous Skibidi of all. Why? Its claws spinning fast and grinding everything in its path. Oh my god! That's really cool! Thank you for being one over. Hmm, is that all there is to it? Hmm, of course, that's not all. Follow me! Hmm, interesting, interesting! I've told you about the most basic Skibidi toilets that exist. Now we'll take a closer look at the boss toilets. <gasps> saw Skibidi has a huge saw at the base of his toilet body, destructive power shared in the weapons in his hands. Hmm. Skibidi Fire strikes its enemies with flamethrowers whose heat reaches temperatures of thousands of degrees. Wow, that sounds dangerous! Skibidi Saw version 2 has two saws already, unlike its counterpart. Part. Oh, he reminds me of someone. This? Ah, now it's all clear. Two saws, twice as dangerous. Nice. Let's move on. The Skibidi spider is a danger to the slower guys as it can reach long distances with its large claws. Wow, what a scary guy. You don't have to worry. It's only a model. Yes, you're right. It's a good thing they've already been defeated. We're lucky. <laughs> 
That's the end of the tour. Tell me, my young visitors, did you both enjoy it? Yes, it was very interesting. Thank you, Uncle, for showing and telling us about everything here. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, why, Uncle? Oh, ha, ha. oh you're just in time. Guys, how was the museum tour? This man told us so much about bosses and regular toilets. It was amazing. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, thank you for the praise. If our kids say that, then you really did a good job. Our kids don't often admire something so much, so we really do appreciate you. Goodbye. Come again. Mikey, I didn't realize it was dark. Yes, it was that interesting. It's been a busy day. Yeah. Let's all go home together to rest. Yeah, I'm very tired. We'll be home soon. Don't worry. Okay, Mom. JJ, we saw so many interesting things today. Yeah. I'm just a mess with so much information. Viewers, did you remember all the skibbity toilets that the guide showed? Write the number of them in the comments. Here it is, home sweet home. Children, it's so late. Aren't you tired? Mommy, I'm tired. I'm tired too. It's pretty dark already. Let's go to bed already. Yes, my warm crib is waiting for me. Huh, our bed missed us too. I can't wait to go to bed. I'm tired too. Let's go. Mikey, who did you like the best? Let's go. Oh, hmm. Huh. Well, I was most impressed with the Skibidi Angel. Wow, yeah, he's awesome. Well, children, we wish you good night and sweet dreams. May bad dreams pass you by. Yes, good night. Wow, thanks, Dad and Mom. Sweet dreams to you too. Shall we go, JJ? Oh, sure. We're in for some interesting Skibidi toilet dreams. Uh, what makes you say that, Mikey? After all, we've been hearing about these toilets all evening, and quite rightly, if we dream about them tonight. Oh, I can't wait to dream about those toilets. It would be cool if we could dream about fighting them. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Mikey. He's already asleep. Wow. It's a good thing we live in a time of peace when Skibidi toilets are almost non-existent. I can sleep in peace. <coughs> oh my head! Good morning, I guess. I don't feel so good. I dreamt I was a skibidi toilet nightmare. Mikey, can you hear me? Hmm. Get up. I got something to tell you. Oh, hmm. Huh. Good morning, JJ. I had such a cool dream. Hmm. I was defeating giant skibidi toilets in my sleep. Oh, my God. It was mega cool. Mikey, you're so cruel. Don't be weird, JJ. Let's go to breakfast. You're the weird one. Uh, okay. I guess you're in a bad mood today. I'm totally fine. Good morning. Stop saying that. What? Kids, what's going on here? It's okay. Hey, Mom, it's just JJ's not in the mood. He's lying. I'm fine. <gasps> I don't know what happened, but let's not fight and let's go to breakfast. Hmm. Okay, Dad, I'm just hungry. Oh, then let's go to breakfast. Hmm. Only after you all go. Uh, okay. That goes for you, too. JJ, stop acting like this. It's not funny. <clears throat> I'm serious. Let's better enjoy the wonderful breakfast our mom made for us. I agree. <laughs> it looks amazing. Isn't the food poisoned? JJ, what makes you think Mom wants to poison you? Because it doesn't have to be that way. JJ, what are you talking about? You're all just awful. Okay, what kind of behavior is this? Mom, there's something wrong with me. JJ, what's wrong with you? Oh, Mikey, I told you I feel weird. You're all a bunch of fools. What? I hate all of you. JJ, calm down. Just try anything I don't want you to do and you're finished. <gasps> oh my god, JJ, calm down. Do you understand? Yes. Everybody out of the table. No sudden movements. Keep your hands up where I can see them. Okay, okay. Everyone should raise their hands. Baby, it's okay. We did it. Don't you dare call me that. Oh. Don't even think about placating me. I can barely hold it together. What can we do to make you calm down? Slowly make your way to the top floor. It's all clear. No accidents, okay? It's very clear. We're on our way. JJ, I'm really scared. Please stop these jokes. I'm not kidding. I'll shoot you if you dare do anything wrong. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> stop crying or you're finished. Mommy! Who else wants to cry? Be quiet! Two hours later. Attack! What do you think of that? It was unbeatable. I'm discouraged. It was incredible. Huh, beautiful, wonderful. Do you like it? But I have a feeling you're all lying to me. Wait, why? Why don't I do something terrible so you'll stop deceiving me? My boy, there's no need to do that. We will obey you. I'll be right back, and I want you to stay where you are. Okay, okay. We'll pick up some more interesting stuff to play around with. Oh, when is this going to end? Mom, he'll destroy us if we don't call for help. Honey, I'm afraid Mikey's right. I'll call help. Don't worry about me. But how do you do it? Mikey? You've seen 
done what I can do. Whoa. Well done. I'll be back as soon as I find help. Keep distracting him as long as possible. All right, be careful. And hurry up. I'll be right back. Oh, my boy. What are we going to do when JJ spots Mikey missing? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's too bad. Who knows what's in that boy's head? Five minutes later. Too bad I didn't find anything. Well, that means I'll play you with what I've got so far. Oh, no. Did you miss me? Of course we missed you. Wait a second. Where is he? Who are you talking about? There was no one here. Where did he go? I don't know. What's that? Oh, well, finally. Oh, so you knew everything. You tricked me. JJ. I'm not going to hold back anymore. Everybody stay where you are. Oh, my God. Don't move, boy. You've got nowhere to run. Drop your weapon. Whoa, ha, ha. Thank you, sir. Drop the gun, boy. JJ, do it and nothing bad will happen to you. Uh, okay. Do you have anything to say for yourself? They drove me crazy. I slept in this house and woke up like this. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It's their fault. Oh, my boy. What happened to you? It wasn't me. JJ, we're going to help you. 